Lastly, what I want to show is how to export. So in the scene, I have everything beginning to being as I want it. And to export, make sure nothing is selected inside your film and you have your work area set to the last area of your frame here. If you have this extended out, you're going to render this blank space at the end here. Command Z to undo that. So then I'm going to go to File, Export, and instead of adding to the render queue, I'm going to send this to Adobe Media Encoder queue. The reason that I do that is there's a lot more options inside Adobe Media Encoder that you can use, especially with rendering to an H.264 codec, which is the codec or compressed uh, wrapper that is most commonly used for, for online media. Um, additionally, when you use Adobe Media Encoder, that means that it's sending your file to an external place to render so you can continue working in After Effects if you need to. Um, otherwise, if you render inside After Effects or if you render inside Premiere, um, then the program stops until it's finished rendering. So this allows for a little bit more um, flexibility in terms of your movement. And so now you see that it has brought in my master composition here into Adobe Media Encoder. And I'm going to click on this match source high bitrate here, which is going to let me go to a separate window. And it takes a second because it has to talk to After Effects. And let's shrink down this window so we can see it a little bit more clearly. So inside here, it's showing us our source range. So right now it's set to the work area, which is what I want. If I did the entire composition, notice that it does the full 20 seconds. You can also do custom and drag these points oop, to where you want them to go. But I'm going to go back to work area because that was what I had set. To choose where you're going to save it, I have to click on this blue text here. So master comp, and I'm going to put it inside my After Effects folder and call this uh, rendered film JR and do save. And where you see format, this is where you're going to have to select H.264 and not H.264 Blu-ray. Um, by default, I think it pops up as QuickTime or as um, MPEG-4. For us, we're going to choose H.264. And then you're going to choose the, mat, the preset match source. It should do that by default. And what you want to see is, do, does your output match your source? So 24 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080. Um, and here it says your source is 20 seconds, and we're shrinking it down because we're going to our work area. Down here, there's a couple settings that you'll want to set up. And it's inside this video option here. If you wanted to change the size, you can uncheck this box and choose a different size. If you wanted to change the frame rate, same thing, uncheck this box and choose a different frame rate. But for us, we just want to check render maximum depth and use maximum render quality. This just ensures that you're going to have the best um, output possible. Inside here, you, you don't need to worry about um, setting the bitrate settings. Don't worry about that for now. You're not necessary for the purposes of this project. And then you say OK. And so it has selected where it's going to go. It's done some custom settings because you made a custom. And to have this render, hit the play button. And depending on how long your film is, that's how long the render will take. If it's a couple minutes long, it might take 10 minutes. Um, also depends on the speed of your computer. Once it's complete, click on the link for output file, and it'll show you exactly where it's saved. And when you double click on it and preview it, it'll show you it at the full render. And one thing that you can do is do this, you know, while you're working to see the best quality output of what you're working on. Don't just wait to the end to see what it looks like, because maybe there's things that you want to change. Uh, maybe the timing is a little off. Maybe it runs a little bit faster than you thought. So this is how I would uh, suggest that you work.